to use to to turbocharge your vehicle to gain the extra horsepower or the extra efficiency that it brings um one tur you'll find that one turbocharger is usually better than uh, as you yeah. you'll find that two turbochargers are usually work better than one as it amplifies the effect of uh more horsepower more efficiency as you have uh, more air going in which makes the combustion better there are two ways to implement this. Um, the first is the simpler one of just having a parallel twin turbo, which would have would replace you one turbine on this side and one turbine on this side. And as the exhaust gases come out from the engine, it essentially just halves the ex exhaust gases from say these two cylinders will go to this turbine, which will cause it to spin and bring in air and the in exhaust gases from these two cylinders will spin this turbine which will cause air to come in from here. The, this uh, increases the issue of turbo lag however as instead of just waiting for one turbo to spool up you'll have to wait for both turbos to spool up before your car is producing efficient torque to move. And so to come across the, to get over this problem uh, uh, engineers have created the sequential twin turbo so what it's as the name states one it's sequential so one goes and then the other one goes so um, at low at when starting the engine th so um, one turbine might be smaller uh, than the other or maybe they're just the same uh, size turbine but essentially um, in the lower RPM in the when the engine is just starting up the one turbine will spool up and bring in air and then that will take it to the engine and then when uh, the engine starts pr to produce more exhaust gas when, when the engine starts to produce more exhaust gas and uh, takes it to this turbine um, that the input uh, the intake uh, air that comes from this turbine goes to the bigger larger turbine which will spool up and then draw in e a lot more air than the smaller turbine the smaller turbine is just meant to work with small amounts of air to spool up quickly so it can get the initial amount of intake air then the bigger turbine um, then the bigger turbine works uh, at high RPM when there's more exhaust gas that some of it goes to the turbine so it draws in uh, more intake air. This overcomes the issue of turbo lag as if you want to imagine <laughs> starting up the car first you have the low RPM if you want to imagine of starting up the car first you have the low RPM uh, of the engine running you know, when it's just getting up to speed uh, you don't have to wait for the big turbocharger to spool up because all you have to do is wait for the smaller turbocharger to spool up this will be a lot quicker and then it'll still gain that benefit of turbocharging as at the efficient torque at the efficient rpm at the higher rpm uh, the second turbo turbine will start to spin